How's it going everybody? So today we're going to be taking a look at the giant smokes in Counter-Strike 2. These are smokes that land a little bit higher than usual, but expand all the way to the floor to prevent one-way smokes. Very early on into CS2, the game was riddled with these very powerful one-way smokes that were in the game. As you can see right here, this is one of the first ones that I found. You were able to stand up on this back platform and be able to see the enemy's legs before they were able to see you. What Valve did to fix that was make it to where you could go into that same exact lineup position, throw the same exact smoke, but instead of there being a gap under it, the smoke would expand all the way to the ground, thus creating the gigantic smokes that we see today in Counter-Strike. And now, since this update was introduced nearly six months ago, there's been plenty of time for professional players and teams to take full advantage of this mechanic. So let's go ahead and take a look at what these guys have been cooking up over the past six months. But first, I want to thank today's sponsor, Skins Monkey. So Skins Monkey is an automated CS2 trading site that provides an instant way for you to get new skins. All you have to do is select your old skins that you don't want anymore and then pick out some fresh ones to trade for. It's as easy as that. And right now you could get a free $5 if you use code tactics on the site. And finally, you could get up to a 35% deposit bonus when using my code. So thanks again to Skins Monkey for sponsoring this video. Links in the description. So a great example of these types of smokes solving problems is the fact that if you throw a very deep bank smoke, well, there's a nice angle that they can sit on behind truck here. And if you throw it too shallow, like something around this to where that angle doesn't exist anymore, well, they can actually jump up on top of the dumpster here and have a nice little angle on you as you push out. So if you wanna completely mitigate that risk, you can go right here into this column. You can just right in the center of it, crouch down and then do a simple jump throw right here at this nice little mark here on divider. And that smoke is gonna go all the way up here and it should bank right off of this sign and bleed down to where you're fully smoking off all of this position here. There's oftentimes a little gap here, um, but it will fill in eventually, as you can see. Uh, later on into the round, it might create a slight gap here and there, but it's still very good and a lot better than these other positions because there's not really much they can do about this. So one of the earliest examples of this was thrown by FaZe, where they would go right here into this corner and do a simple jump throw from the top left corner of this building all the way up to this railing, and that smoke would go all the way up on top of Mini here, and it would spill down, completely blocking off this player's perspective right here, while also serving as a nice smoke if you were to jump on top of mini where you could fight outside into yard without having to worry about getting killed from any of these angles back here. It was a really good smoke and really showcased how this new mechanic can definitely be abused. You can also smoke off the outside portion of heaven by going into this corner, crouching and finding the top of this line that's just to the left of the ladder here aiming at the very top of it, standing up, and then doing a W jump throw. This smoke's gonna go all the way over here and it's gonna land on the top of this little railing here and it should spill straight down, completely smoking off this entire area right here to where you're able to push outside without having to worry about that angle quite as frequently. Another pretty cool smoke you can throw on new because if you go all the way up into this corner, crouch, find the left tip of this air vent, stand up and do a simple jump throw. That smoke's gonna go all the way up here over this building and it should land on the very top of this blue box here, giving you a little bit more breathing room as you're coming out to clear mini. As you can see, this smoke's going to be a lot taller than your typical smoke, allowing you to be able to peek this without having to worry too much about someone up here on top of heaven, as opposed to a smoke that lands somewhere like this, right? They're going to have way more uh, line of sight here, especially if they're standing up here on these railings. So I definitely recommend throwing that one instead. And if you don't want to run all the way back into spawn to throw that smoke, maybe you're just about to start taking outside control, you can go right here into this corner. You can crouch and just aim at the lower left-hand corner of this little object sticking off of silo. You're just going to stand up and do a simple jump throw, and that is going to go all the way up here and land on top of the blue blocks, just like the other smoke before. As you can see right here, it's going to land right there and fully smoke that angle off to allow you to peek into mini without having to worry about heaven. Two of my absolute favorite smokes to throw are ones that are gonna land up on top of this box and on top of this box to completely eliminate both this boost angle right here, as well as heaven right up here in this position. And they're very easy to throw. You just go right here into this corner first, and you're just gonna do a simple left click throw at this little gap right here in this platform. You're gonna go into this corner, this opposite corner, and just go up on the left side of this platform. And these smokes, this one's gonna land right here on top of headshot and this one is going to land right here on top of the default boxes completely eliminating that boost angle and heaven so you don't have to worry about either of those positions as you're pushing up onto site if you ever want to retake side hall you can go right here into this corner and do a simple left click throw right at this little notch on this orange box that is going to land all the way over here on top of this and it's going to fully smoke off this area completely it'll eventually fill in to hold both sides here to where you can hold the angle if you just want to maintain control here and you can just walk through this if you ever want to peak ramp and just like that you have a nice little angle to be able to slowly clear without having to worry about getting shot from yellow. 
A really cool version of this smoke I've seen used at the professional level, I believe by Gamer Legion first, you can go right here into this corner of this nice little pillar and do a simple left click throw right at this lighter colored plus on the wall. And that smoke's gonna pop right here. And you may be thinking, well, what in the world is that gonna do for me? But from the A side perspective, well, they're not able to watch if you're gonna end up getting down here under palace. So a great thing you can do is you can molly off under balcony right, by just doing this. And that molly is gonna drop down here, fully molly this position off. And while the smoke's here, you can pretty much push back out. I'll go ahead and re-throw that smoke again. It's just like this. And you're gonna be able to push out with this smoke and work your way down into under balcony after that Molotov is cleared. And just like that, you're down here without any of these players knowing. And ideally, as a part of the A side hit, your teammates are gonna have jungle connector and top stairs smoked off. So the only angle you're really gonna have to worry about are these sight angles as you push out. It's a really good smoke to be able to get control and kind of lurk out of palace. So one of the coolest smokes I've seen so far in CS2 is one that lands on top of this beam and will spread down. And after a couple of seconds, it'll fully expand in to cover up this jail side of the window so that you're able to just sprint by and not worry about getting shot from sight. It's a really cool smoke that utilizes the very interesting mechanic of the smoke falling to the ground. Sometimes there's a little gap so you can, you know, maybe watch out for that, but it's a very difficult one to throw. And honestly, I think it's a little bit too precise to be practical in game, but I'd like to see you guys hop in the server and see if you can find a way to get this consistent. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna find this flat corner on the wall, go all the way into it, and you're gonna crouch down and you're gonna find this little speck right here. There's a white line that kind of comes out of it. So you're gonna wanna position your crosshair, you're gonna get all the way against the wall here and get your crosshair to where it is at the very tip of that little white speck. So something about like this. You're then going to stand up and you're gonna look over here towards this leaf. And actually it's a better idea to just go ahead and stay crouched and and you're gonna look towards the upper left-hand side of this very far leaf, just like this. You're then gonna stand up and do a nice little jump throw. And that is gonna go all the way up here, right under the sky, and it should bank back down off of this roof and land on top of this nice little wooden support beam, just like that, and it should go all the way down. Now that's the most consistent way that I've found to throw this, but I would say still, on a good day, I'm probably hitting that 50% of the time. So if you can find a better way to do it, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below or join my Discord and share it there. And if you're ever on Inferno and you wanna clear out this left side without worrying as much about boost, well, all you have to do is come right here into this little hinge and you can just do a crouching jump throw right at this shadow, kind of where it intersects with the light area. You can just go down from this window and do a jump throw. It's not very precise, you can be anywhere. I prefer the bottom left right here and just do a crouching jump throw. And that smoke's gonna land inside of this balcony. It's gonna pop down and spread across where it fully smokes off this right side. Um, and you can kind of clear out here without worrying as much about boost. Now, one thing to keep in mind, they can still see over this if you go out to the far right side, but you definitely have a lot more room to play with if you otherwise just smoke it off like this as you can see. So yeah, guys, I hope you learned something new from this video. There are definitely some pretty cool smokes that you can throw with this mechanic. And now that we've had a couple of months of professional players finding out utility and cool, innovative ways to use these, I thought it was time to go ahead and make a video on them. Anyways, guys, if you think I missed something, let me know down in the comments or maybe join my Discord and post some utility for me to use and I'll credit you in the next video.